All right, how much and what kind of tax increases will it take to fix our roads and get rid of the potholes? State lawmakers are feeling the pressure and they're looking for ways to fix the problem. But the solution may be what's in your wallet. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner live in Lansing with the latest on the battle to smooth out our rough roads. Jim? Stephen and Carolyn, these are the proposals on the table right now in front of a state Senate committee. Raising the fuel tax, raising registration fees for commercial, non commercial vehicles, even motorcycles and mopeds. Your driver's license could cost more. Another one of these could be an increase in the state sales tax on everything you buy. We don't have a strong preference as to one way. If it's a sales tax piece, if it's a wholesale piece, if it's you know somebody's newfangled idea, our job is to use the money that we have as efficiently and effectively as possible. He's a state roads guy, not saying show me the money, but really give me the money. And two surveys show we're willing to pay more. 82% of us agree the roads are bad. 72% of us will pay more in taxes. 68% in another survey said they'd pay 10 bucks a month. Out of pocket. I think this is really grassroots up. People saying, legislature, time for you to act in a bipartisan faction and do what's right for the state of Michigan. The state Senate committee is now taking up the package of bills. Some have already passed the state house, providing almost a half billion dollars to fix bad roads and potholes. The number could be moved up to more than a billion dollars, maybe close to two billion dollars a year for the next several years with tax increases. The beauty of this is there's a lot of ideas, a lot of proposals. The fact of the matter is they're talking about it and I think they're really going to resolve something in a bipartisan, bipartisan fashion. At the end of the day, there's no Republican roads or Democratic roads. So that means they want to put these on a pothole-free Lansing legislative fast track. In other words, vote on something by the middle of next week, but stay tuned. It will cost you more. I'm live in Lansing, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right. Thank